Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, coming to you from the frozen Arctic tundra plains of sunny western New York State, south of Rochester, north of Hell, in Sin Sinus Valley. And today we're going to do an update. We're going to do my uh, promised uh, sequel to the video where I showed this area. There's some interesting things going on here. This this is one of the things I showed. I showed this bridge so far. Well, there's a couple other things here. Won't hold you too long, but uh, here's one fascinating anomaly. It kind of looks like an arch from that perspective. Well, let's take a look at it from this perspective. Uh, it doesn't seem to be an arch at all. It looks like an entranceway. Complete, possibly, with stairs. It's like... Uh, it's like a tunnel way. I mean, we have them on here on Earth. The cars drive into them all the time. And the tunnel and uh, Britain and so forth. It's an un I believe it to be an underground passageway, and there appears to be a little bit of a track going between that and well it looks like a natural feature but I'm not so sure about that because of what I'm seeing so there we have these entrance ways and That's one of the fascinating things about this general area. Now, anybody with any common sense, you're looking down at this, you pretty much have to conclude that you're seeing something artificial there. That's not that's not a natural area. It's a roofed area. It may not even be active, but it's certainly not natural. And there's a lot of these uh, things that stick up way off the ground, like the travel tubes. I'll draw my uh, little arrow here. There's one. Cast a shadow. So that cannot be a natural feature. Anyway, here's some other interesting stuff. I don't even know what to make of this. It's probably there's probably another entrance way here, and we're gonna s scoot around again right at the end of this. I have a construction type area. A lot of this is artificial. No, no question in my mind. It's identifying what is artificial and what's natural is the problem. But I think a lot of these, like these whitish streamers, are definitely, they definitely look artificial to me, like the travel tubes or something. All right. So, we're going to take a look northward. And again, we have this repeated theme of what appears to be small buildings built on a 
some sort of base, only in this case, there's multiple, it's not one object on top of one base, it's many objects on top of the same base, which, which is very much larger. And again, right here we go, you want a proof? I think we have it right here. All sorts of rectangular openings in this photo. Things that look like uh, basically small buildings on top of whatever this is. I'm not a geologist here, but I know what I'm seeing is uh, not natural in many cases. I'm going to put this on hold for a minute so I can get it reoriented. Okay. So, here we have an interesting anomaly. Strap it up. And down here we have more, more like it. Along with a very long, extremely straight uh, building structure right here. You can't miss this one. You're going to call that natural? You call that natural and check yourself in. I mean, I'm sorry. Now, here we have this item here. We'll try to bring this, change the angle here so we can get a better look. Appears to be structures, buildings, and possibly a road. I'll put on a drawing tool right there. Looks like a road heading into the area. Okay, so we're going to head north. I'll switch the orientation here to the north, and we're going to examine this in detail. And I got a couple of uh, stills to show you. What you have here, the shadow is cast by this thing. There's a sawtooth type pattern. I'm talking hundreds and hundreds of right angles. I'm not going to get that in nature. I'm sorry. And here's an interest. Here's something that's very interesting. It looks like a craft. I'll show that in one of the stills that I took. Looks like some kind of craft with wings, possibly. Kind of right angles, um, bat wing type thing. Those have been reported flying around in our atmosphere, by the way. So we're going to follow this up and see where it leads. I don't have to tell you, this is not natural. You think this is natural, you got psychological issues. I mean, just look at it. It's got all these buildings on top of it. It's like a straight long wall. Well, not so straight, but straight in places. I think if we were to look at this, we'd be astonished. This might be uh, one of the things that go for cities, even though that's what, not what a lot of these people are saying. And look right here, we have what appears to be some kind of a tube. Hang on one second. I think I'll take a look at this too in a still and see if I can mod it and come up with something. I know there's a lot of other things to raise keen about. I understand that. 
I mean, who cares about Mars? Well, if there's a alien civilization living in there, then you might want to start caring. And that's about the end of that. You have a lot of these anomalies. There's too many to count in this area. A lot of it is natural. Some of it isn't. Alright, uh, what I'm gonna do, like, this area, don't know, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on hold, and we'll take a look at a couple of the stills, and then we'll wrap this thing up. The time's flying by, hang on. Mars uh, 62 was one of the photos I just took. It looks like some kind of a tube. Some, it's definitely some kind of a structure. Can't tell that much about it. I tweaked the uh, lighting contrast. See if I can find out exactly what was going on with this. Yeah, I just brought the shadows up. And here you can see this thing is clearly artificial. There's no natural component there. If I had a hazard, I guess I'd say it's some sort of very large pipeline going into uh, Mars. And you can also see some of the underlying structure in the area. So, here we have a very massive phenomenon. In my opinion, much of the area is probably raised areas due to buried artificial objects that are like a city or something under there. That's my opinion. Well, here you have something that's just blatantly, blatantly artificial. You're going to call that a sand dune, you need to get your eyes checked. I'm sorry. Okay, I got two more stills to show you. Most of the stuff I would say... Is uh, on the left here. Right there, right there. Obvious building structures. I mean, one with the lower left hand arrow is long and rectangular. There's no one there. These aren't natural. You know, it should be more like uh, amorphous, like blob-like, that type of thing. This whole thing, you know, structures everywhere. You look at that, it's kind of a flat top thing, and it's got a very round circle right in the middle of it. It's not an impact crater. So, you're seeing massive amounts of artificiality here. There's no question of it, folks. There's nothing here to argue about. I mean, you're seeing artificial stuff. And, of course, NASA doesn't want to talk about it. They don't want to admit to it. So on and so forth. Same old... Same old NASA. Never a straight answer NASA. Okay.
Yeah, this is one I want to show. I'm going to zoom in on this airplane looking thing. Now I'm going to wrap it up. Actually, the shape is more like a giant butterfly. It's obviously not what it is, but it may be a craft of some sort. I'm not sure. To me, it looks more like part of the building. Only problem with that is uh, it's flat and there's no underlying structure. So it might be a craft. It's hard to tell without getting some uh, decent honesty out of these people. But notice the sawtooth pattern. This is the other thing. Sawtooth pattern being shown by. That's the shadow. It comes from the wall on this side. That's right, and that's what's casting it. Is it. The wall on that side. Lots and lots and lots of right angles. I'm thinking these are uh, peaked buildings. Uh, buildings with peaked roofs. That's my uh, thinking on this. And one more thing I want to take a look at. I just noticed that I got to take off the arrows. Alright, just some rect more rectangular stuff. You're getting the point here? There's buildings all through this area. It's just incredible. And of course, they're ignored by NASA. They aren't ruled by scientific endeavor, they're ruled by agenda. There's a concept called Lysenkoism that was originated in the old Soviet Union. What they would do, I think it was under Stalin, Lysenkoism was where the scientists were told what to say. They weren't allowed to go outside a certain parameters. I'd have to look that up for the full history, but it's called Lysenkoism, and the same thing that's going on in our country today. Scientists are being told what they're supposed to say, and that's the end of it, no matter what the truth is. And right there in the center, uh, really faint, Some kind of structure, again, straight, right angles, cannot be mistaken for a geologic formation. So there you go, folks. Massive artificiality in this area that I showed. Wake up. You know, tell somebody, use this video. This video is public domain, so just use it. I don't copyright anything, so go right ahead. I don't care. Nothing will ever be said. A lot of somebody's not intentionally trying to piss me off. But we are so screwed. They won't tell us the truth about hardly anything anymore. Lying has got to the point where I just, I just said screw it. Lying has just gone, not just with this, but with a whole race, you know, list of issues. Lying has just gone beyond anything that I can even stand. So that's it. I'll look at another er area next time. We'll see what we can find. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching. Mars is live. You are being lied to. That's the end of the subject, as far as I'm concerned. I'm Artifacts of Mars.